I know, no, no. You shouldn't. You should always wear uh, sunscreen because the UVA and UVB rays can still get through the clouds. Uh, it doesn't seem as bright, but uh, you can still get sunburn even with the clouds out there. And I think especially by next week, fewer clouds, but lots of sunscreen on. Here's what's going on right now. Showers and some thunderstorms popping up. Activity over the uh, Alligator Alley area just west of US 27 near the toll booth. And now some little activity starting to pop up in Tamarack. And I think as we go through the evening, we're going to see more of these little showers, brief downpours, even some thunderstorms develop in Broward. Miami-Dade, a little bit more iffy if we're going to get more thunderstorms. We had enough activity earlier that it kind of cooled things off a bit, used up a lot of the heat of the atmosphere. Heaviest storms right now, they are pushing across parts of Florida Bay there. Pretty good little storm dropping down towards Duck Key as well as Long Key and also may skirt Isla Mirada there and in the lower keys looking pretty good right now. In terms of high temperatures today, it was a little bit warmer. Everybody in the upper 80s to the low 90s today. It's the first time we've gotten back into the 90s this week and we're going to see 90s probably again tomorrow. Feels like temperatures, it's hottest in Broward in the mid 90s, feels like wise. But once again, the rain cooling from the earlier storms, it's only in the mid 80s in Miami Day. There's a satellite loop. You can see the clouds blowing by from time to time. The upper level winds carry the clouds off to the east. The bigger picture showing that we still have deep tropical moisture over us. So any storms that develop can produce some pretty good downpours. And because our steering winds are so light right now, the storms really aren't moving too much. So we're getting some street flooding. There's the front. It is to our north through the weekend. There we are on Saturday. By Sunday, it is just about to push through so that by Monday it is through. And here comes the much drier air for Monday and Tuesday. Humidities will be below normal finally, lower than they've been in quite some time, and temperatures will be down just a little bit as well. Of course, we're watching Sam out here. All stages look like it is go for rapid strengthening out there. You can see a brief appearance of a very small eye. It's a very small hurricane in terms of its overall size, and a lot of times small hurricanes can ramp up quickly. They are also a little more fragile and can get disrupted as well. But we'll be watching Sam as well as the folks in the islands there. As of 5 o'clock, the 85 mile an hour winds moving to the west. The forecast, and look at those numbers increase there. One, two, three, four, category four by tomorrow is the forecast. And then uh, could go through what we call eye wall replacement cycles, where a bigger eye like feature forms around the small inner eye, and that usually causes the storm to grow. Here we are on Wednesday, still east of the islands, according to the National Hurricane Center. Once again, there are the models, mostly to the east of us. Of course, we will watch any storm that's in this position of the Atlantic, but right now it looks like we are feeling okay about it. For tonight, some spotty storms, otherwise quiet later on tonight. Most of the storms will be around the evening, mid 70s for lows. Tomorrow, steamy sun. Afternoon storms develop, just like today, high temperature right around 90 degrees. On the water, no problems. Winds are going to be pretty light, and the bay is mostly smooth, a good boating day. Through the weekend, mainly afternoon storms. Saturday, some spotty storms around Sunday. Cold front comes through. Sunday night. Temperatures drop a little bit, but the humidities go down. We may even touch upper 60s in some inland areas. Back to you.